yes. So we've got some good photos here. There's, well, yes. Um, these, these, are the ones, are, these are the ones down in Spain when I was in the Pyrenees, remember? Oh, yes. A couple, couple of years ago. Do you remember, now that was when I had a message from Jennifer and Carolyn saying about you driven all the way from Salisbury to Cambridge. Yes. <laughs> do you remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> what was that journey like? <laughs> well, um, uh, I, I loved it, of course, because I just mm -hmm. loved driving. Mm -hmm. uh, and, How long uh, was it? Pardon? How long was it? Well, it took about three hours. Um, and and, back. and uh, um, then another three hours to come back. Mm -hmm. But of course, I was staying there for the week, so yeah, um, yeah. it was yeah. all right. But, um, but that, that was the last real long drive long you did, drive, wasn't it? Long drive, yes. But um, I, I did a, a, it was quite a lot of motorway driving. I don't mind driving on the motorway. Yeah. Uh, and um, in fact, I quite enjoy it. But. Um, there was a, a lot of Cambridge to see as yeah, well, which yeah, was yeah. very nice. Good. And uh, well, I got that message about that. I was surprised you'd done that drive yes. because <laughs> we, you know, Jennifer, Carolyn, and me, and Ian were all by then getting a bit concerned about about <laughs> yes. driving. I mean, Jennifer was quite concerned, wasn't she? Yes, she was. She was. was she, um, it was all right until um, I was about eighty-three and I had a stroke, and um, then, of course, um, that was it. Mm. Uh, but before that, um, uh, Jennifer was beginning to get, you know, a little bit concerned mm. because I was quite a good driver, mm. I, it appears, mm. uh, when I was, uh, well, mm. before that. But just before the stroke, I began to get a little bit, um, uh, losing concentration right. a little right. bit. Did you um, notice that? Um, well, only on looking back. Mm. I didn't notice it at the time, of course. Mm. Uh, and, um, but Jennifer realised? Yes, the, all the family yeah. uh, did, the yeah. other three there. Yeah. Uh, but for Jennifer, I, was, I, I went out with Jennifer mm. mostly because the others were working. Uh, and um, Jennifer was at home. And, well... Did the discussion start about, about not driving? Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> first of all, little hints about mm. not driving. Mm. What, what did she say? Do you remember? Uh, pardon? What kind of thing did she say? <laughs> Do you think it's time you stop driving, Mum? After all, you are about you know, over 80, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> did you did you sort of realise your... So do you think that was a fair comment at the time? Well, no, I was... <laughs> I was peeved. <laughs> because I'd been driving since I was 17 and I yeah. love it. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but... Um, did Carolyn uh, get involved as well? Oh, yes, yes. Um, uh, Ian didn't as much, no. but he agreed. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> so, because I was still abroad at the time. Yes. So, so how, how did that kind of come about to say no, no more driving? Uh, well, it was because I had the stroke, that's what said no. That was the main thing. Uh, and um, I, I, I thought after that I ought not to drive, so, but yeah. um, in fact when I was uh, better I could have gone on, but it was as well I didn't. Uh, I think it was, uh, the stroke was a good thing uh, in mm. retrospect because um, it stopped me driving and mm. I don't think I would have stopped driving mm. because uh, I, well I just enjoyed it, mm. it was mm. like my right arm, you mm. know. Mm. Um, would you say, would you, I mean would you say that people ought to think about stopping driving when they get older? Well, I think it, de it depends entirely upon the person. Mm. I mean, Sylvia is um, perfectly all right. She's a wonderful driver mm. and she's 90, mm. that odd. Mm. Um, but um, I've seen other drivers who are much younger mm. <laughs> and uh, not nearly as mm. good. Because <laughs> how long did your, your mum drove for a long time, didn't well, she? Well, yes, but she said um, uh, 80 is enough and uh, I ought to give it up. She was much more uh, positive about... Uh, <laughs> so she just decided herself? Yeah, she, she decided that mm. um, uh, she ought to give his up at 80 years. Mm. Although she would miss it a lot, she said, mm. but uh, she thought um, that was a good time mm. to give up driving. Mm. So, yeah. So making that decision really comes down to whether you're going to or not, doesn't it? It's your individual. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, nobody can make the decision for you, really, mm. I don't mm. think. Um, I remember when we, I remember we once that decision had been taken. One of the first things we did as as, ch as children uh, was to get the car sold, didn't we? 
Well, yes. <laughs> I said, get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I knew I'd want to drive. <laughs> yeah. what, was, um, what was Jennifer's reaction when you said you were? Relief. Oh, Mum, good. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, do you, think, do you think she was right? Yes, yes, mm. she was. Mm. Um, entirely right, mm. but, uh, uh, but right for me, you see, mm. because um, mm. that was, uh, mm. uh, I mean, a stroke affects mm. your, uh, your brain in mm. some way, and mm. Um, mm. I feel sure that I shouldn't, uh, I was glad I didn't mm. drive after mm. that, mm. though I still miss it. <laughs> of course, well, it's but, only been uh, a year and a half, hasn't it, really? Yes, uh, but um, I've got a bus pass. <laughs> <laughs> And you've got a driver. Yes. I, now I've got a driver, of yeah, course. I, I drive you. In fact, you, we enjoy going for drives, don't we? Yes, we mm. do. We enjoy it very much. We get to all over the place, mm. and that's uh, very nice. Mm. Well, the last <laughs> thing we did now was to go to um, northern France, didn't we, in the car? Yes, yes, so we that, did. that was your first real driving holiday again for, for a year and a half, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Mm. It was ex absolutely super. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Good. When um, you said about um, Jennifer noticed that you seemed to be losing concentration, I mean, yeah. were you aware of that yourself? No, not really, no. no. But I was very peeved that everybody didn't think I was such a good driver no, as I had been no. before. <laughs> what, I mean, what signs did Jennifer pick up on? Um, well, this um, uh, more lackadaisical mm. thing, because uh, um, I'm sure it was the... Uh, a stroke mm. uh, coming on, mm. um, but... Um, was it to do with remembering where you were actually going and stuff like that? Or? Well, um, that did come into it. <laughs> mm. So that was a, a, a sign of the lack of concentration? Uh, well, yes, I didn't really remember, I didn't really not remember where mm. I was going, but um, as I was... Um, going along, you know, mm. I would cut corners a bit too much. Mm. Mm. Was that um, a vision thing as well? Was that, was that to do with vision as well? I don't think so, really. No. Um, I think it was all to do with how my brain was reacting to driving. Mm. Mm. But, um, so, you, so, that was, so you were misjudging things? Uh, um, not quite, but almost. Mm. And, but you were aware of that? Looking well, back? Yes, I thought it was all whoops, you know, <laughs> mm, mm. but I thought nothing of it. Uh, mm. But of course, it was more serious than mm. uh, I realised. Mm, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and from that point of view, the, the danger is not just to you, is it? It's the well, no, no. I mean, um, uh, when you're in charge of a car, you've got to have all your faculties mm. about you. And uh, mm. I, um, I think it's a very good thing that I was persuaded to give up mm. when I did. Mm. You, you, looking back at things, you, you think this was a, it was a good idea to have stopped yes. driving and to have come to that decision. I mean, there, a lot of other people are going through that process. Would you have any kind of advice uh, for advice, them? Advice, yes. It's well, difficult for families, isn't it? Yes, it about. is. Uh, it's very difficult to talk about because everybody is different. You have to um, think about the person and the way he drives. Mm the way he is driving now, he mm. or she, mm. uh, and... Um, if, if, you uh, were in the, if you were in, let's say, my position of the children, how would you think you would approach saying to you about not driving? What would be the way I should do it? Well, you can only just start off by suggesting that, mm. uh, you know, lots of people give mm. up at mm. this time, mm. but, um, uh, I mean... Uh, Drivers all think they're good drivers, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I, I thought I was a good driver, mm. but I used to be. But um, I realised that um, in the mm. latter part that mm. I wasn't such a good mm. driver. Mm. So, um, so, and it's difficult to know how to approach a person to mm. tell them that uh, they're not mm. going to drive because I mean that they ought to give it up. Mm. Um, you can make suggestions mm. and. Uh, or shall we go on the bus instead? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, and so that people, uh, the driver realises that the people aren't very keen to drive mm, with you. Yeah. That also was my experience. Mm, mm. So you'd say really kind of a, 
gently, gently Yes, I, I, well, that um, I think is kinder, mm. but um, there comes a time when you've got to say, mm. <laughs> I think you ought to stop. Mm. Mm. And be firm about it. <laughs> yes, uh, if the um, person hasn't already decided mm. uh, to um, do the job, mm. Mm. to give it up. Mm. So, I mean, now that it's been a year and a half without driving, what's the good side about this, Mum? Because you're still enjoying life, aren't you? Well, yes, um, but of course it's not like popping in the car and going somewhere. No, no. <laughs> but, um, but we, you know, the, we four are still around and Yes, helping. well, um, uh, you've all got cars and um, you're very kind and I uh, see that I'm uh, never left. <laughs> mm. But, uh, of course, um, we've got a good bus service as well. And I, I've got, be, um, I had become quite mm. used to going on the mm. bus. Mm. Mm. So, I mean, the end of driving isn't isn't the end of life, is oh, it? Oh, absolutely not. No, no. I, I mean, mean, what do you uh, get up to? Um, well, I belong to uh, Townsend's Guild, and uh, uh, there are plenty of drivers in there. Yeah. And there's <laughs> that the Wednesday club. Pardon? The Wednesday uh, club. The Wednesday club as well, where, uh, which has offers of. Um, outings mm. and uh, lists of drivers mm. that um, I can uh, uh, ask to uh, give me a lift. Mm -hmm. um, no, it's certainly not the end of the world and I shall still go on a holiday. And mm. <laughs> so there's lots to look forward to even after you stop driving. Oh you? heavens yes, I mean I'm reading far more now than I ever did before mm. because I've got time mm. Mm. Um, and uh, the garden's in better shape. <laughs> <laughs> So it's enjoyable anyway, you enjoy Oh it. yes, yes, I enjoy life, yes. Um, uh, I've um, got over the fact that I'm, I'm no longer a driver and mm. uh, I'm still, I've got plenty of life left and I'm enjoying it. Mm. <laughs>